Hello and welcome. My name is Ezekiel Palacios, and today we will be discussing the subject of strategic planning and real time strategic change. And the intervention level will be for organizations. So let us get right started. So for the definition of these strategic planning and real time changes would be planning for the fulfillment of the organization's fundamental purposes. It includes the process of establishing and clarifying purposes, deciding on the objective whose attainment will help fulfill purposes and to determine the major means and pathways through which these objectives will pursue. So the purpose of these strategic plannings is to help organizational members understand and define what actions they should take to develop the organization for the future. And if any problems arises, they may make real time changes. Another reasoning of why to use these strategies is to help you keep informed about the most current strategies for business expansion and the most recent approaches to develop strategy planned models. And that was strategic planned models. For instance, a strategic management course for a new general manager or managers should place a strong focus on learning how to execute strategy across departments and acquire cross-functional skills so that these may be done strategically and on the fly. Features of this are how individuals and teams adapt to change and strategic directions. Secondly, implications of the, of the strategy on the organization's design. And lastly, how organizational processes support or hinder the strategy. So as we were discussing in the last slide, one of the cons of strategic planning is strategic planning quickly becomes obsolete when there is no action in place to keep them alive. So for change to happen, there must be action that actually supports. One of the pros of strategic planning is these strategies can be developed for almost any length of time. Organizations often develop annual strategies as well as those for three to five years or even 10 years or more depending on the organization and its industry. So as mentioned before, a great example for using this intervention would be management programs for new general managers. And this is because they should emphasize development crossfire abilities and how to execute strategies across departments to have the abilities to change in real time and to focus on the goal at hand. On this slide, we have our references referring to our book for this course that we are currently taking and two other outside sources that I have found very informative. The information from the slideshow 
presentation has been gathered from these. Thank you for attending our presentation over the, the intervention of strategic planning and real time changes on the organizational level. Thank you and have a great day.